So I've seen this uh, different type of quick draw that I can um, actually practice and uh, it seems like it's a, a little bit of a advanced style so I'm, I'm just gonna practice a little bit and see you know how fast I can get it out of the quiver and then fire at it. Uh, that's not 10 yards, that's about probably 5 or 6 yards so we'll see how it goes. So what I have noticed during this practice is the anchor point is completely different. Uh, it's basically what I was actually doing to act those minutes. So I guess I have to just play it around and see how much I can actually get it. And once I get the find out where I can aim at, or I mean per se like how I can anchor my pen right hand and I think it will be actually better. But this is my actually second time trying. I practiced kind of it yesterday and uh, so far it's not too bad. I mean I'm shooting really close but still yeah, sometimes that happens which is because I'm not securing my thumb. But that's basically what the skill set looks like and maybe try with the back quiver next time. Okay, so here's my third try. I think the first thing I need to get used to is again finding the right anchor point and I still feel my knuckles right behind my ear. So I'm not sure if that's going to be useful for me to shoot other type of you know, uh, archery, which I practice jumping and shooting, uh, sitting down and shooting, and then turn around and shooting. I'm not sure how all those uh, those skill sets are gonna match up with this specific draw. So every time I forget to secure my thumb, the arrow just falls back. And so that's 12 arrows. So I'm kind of getting a feeling of it, but I'm going to practice more. Okay, so I moved the target back up to about 7 yards, a little bit further. Now let's see if I can put all 12 arrows into the target. It feels a lot softer than regular draw. But again, I still have the issue securing my thumb. So far, it's actually easier than I thought. Of course, I'm not hitting all the center, like the bullseye. This is my first time training. Ah, that happens again. Of the whistle, uh, whistling clip. Ah, that one was a little too high, but so far I am hitting the target. And the last one missed, which means I have to do it again. Okay, my 13th try, target's 10 yards, reverse draw shooting practice. Here we go. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Find one. <laughs> Come on. 
I still have some hard time finding the knob. I have a, I'm having a hard time knocking the arrow to the string without really looking at it. Ah, that was a pistolin one, but didn't go well. Faster! Again. Okay, number 14th try. Here we go. It is a little tough to really draw and knocking it in and also I'm doing reverse so my anchor point is kind of I'm not quite sure my anchor point is right now I'll probably watch the video and find out um, or even my anchor point where it should be because I have no clue but I'll keep practice and um, if this method works reverse is here regular is here so it's that flipping motion of the hand I can actually change the grip of it so I think it's a good way to practice and uh, get better at it